the type of credentials we are bringing to the table and not even the table because i want to hasten to add we're not actually bringing the ta we're not actually bringing anything to the table we're bringing the table itself in actuality mm, 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 mm. i i took my journey to yemen okay so we're gonna go through this and of course not every single detailed step but anyhow i ended up in yemen with a one-way ticket uh i had a little bit of information go to such and such masjid don't ask information don't this don't this i didn't know if it was a hamas camp i didn't know what was really going on really but uh it was actually the information to go to sheikh mukbil okay to go to his to go to the match and that's why this podcast is important because as i said we are actually bringing the table and what we will place under the spotlight under the microscope is going to be literature papers perspectives outsider perspectives because they are the ones that proliferate at the moment and yeah. we will dissect those we will analyze those and where necessary or relevant we will then give remedies or counter narratives that are in essence what the reality is as we speak to particular issues you know so that was my thesis that's what i was going into to like hey let me go from a salafi perspective and i mentioned exactly as you said the insider pers uh, perspective and with my experience and having lived with Yemeni Salafi scholars, uh, living in Saudi Arabia for an extens extensive period of time, to bring that to the table and having studied with scholars from both of those places, to be able to, to bring that to say, well, in the words of Salafis, how do they view extremism? How do they view the Tekfiris? Do they accept this classification, Tekfiri, Jihadi, and, and so forth? So this really helped to fuel uh, fuel me and make me even more passionate about it and to really be as try to be as academic as possible and even divorce myself from it in, in writing. But I think that with our combined um, experience, and I will use the phrase expertise and our academic references, and you have the added advantage as well of being a bona fide student of knowledge from the Eastern perspective, as well as the Western perspective, you have the Arabic and everything. So I think that as we go through these shows and we focus on particular themes, we can address them and elucidate upon them and then provide an alternative perspective for academics, practitioners, and also grassroots lay people to have access to PhD academic studies in a um, in layman's terms, inshallah. Um, but there may be areas of fiqh or approaches where we have a difference of opinion. And oh. I'm happy for the, the viewer to see us discussing that and mm. how and how we differ and the yeah. ethics of differing, because we see that amongst um, Salafi communities today and amongst Muslims generally there's a toxicity when it comes to differing um, everyone has to stand their ground but to be honest if, if, if I disagree with you or you disagree with me or you show me a perspective that is more nuanced and emphatic and evidence-based I will be happy to concede ground and, right. and accept that a position that I have has been misunderstood or um, has been incorrect. And yeah. this is very, very necessary if we are speaking, I think above a level of academia, we're talking about as Muslims, the yeah. ethics of being Muslim and discourse and uh, yeah. the requirements and parameters around the discourse. So the, uh, the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. As he said, the proof is in the pudding. Um, and that's very important for us, when we are hearing individuals say, I am this, he is that, she is this, she is that. Yeah. And we will look at that, I think, drawing to a conclusion, we will look at that when we return in a fortnight. Ooh, ooh, ooh.